Hey Gracie! I'm Christy Jordan with southernplate.com and I am a huge fan of yours and I was so excited when someone came over to my Facebook page and said that I could come leave you a video and say hi to you. Oh and guess what? My Everybody in my house got excited but Little Teaspoon was even more excited. Teaspoon would not would not stay in the other room. Had to come see you. Can you say hi to Teaspoon? Hi Gracie! Hi Gracie Pool. I'm Teaspoon! <laughs> You see how pretty my cat is? Well, instead of just doing a video, because I'm such a big fan of yours, I was hoping that I could read a story, especially for you. So I picked out a story because Teaspoon wanted to meet you too. So I found this story called If You Give a Cat a Cupcake, and the cat in it looks a lot like Teaspoon. I don't know if you like cats as much as I do. I actually have three of them. Thumb Cat, Teaspoon, and Daz are my three cats. But, oh, I'm so excited. I get to read a story just to you. Are you ready? Here we go. If You Give a Cat a Cupcake by Laura Nemiroff. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I get to read to Gracie. Okay. <laughs> if You Give a Cat a Cupcake. He'll ask for some sprinkles to go with it. When you give him the sprinkles, he might spill some on the floor. My teaspoon is very messy like that. Cleaning up will make him hot, so you'll give him a bathing suit. And take him to the beach. <laughs> Have you ever seen a cat at the beach? I haven't. He'll want to go in the water. And build a sand castle too. He'll find a few other things as well. He'll put them in his... Oh, wait. I skipped something, didn't I, Gracie? I told you I was nervous. After he builds a sandcastle, he'll look for some shells. <laughs> he'll find a few other things as well. And he'll put them in his pail and try to pick it up, but it'll be too heavy. He'll decide that he needs to go work out at the gym. First, he'll warm up on the treadmill. Then he'll lift a weight or two. He might even try a karate class. Isn't that funny? A cat doing karate? Hey, yeah! <laughs> After the gym, he'll want to go to the park. When you get there, he'll see the rocks and he'll climb as high as he can go. At the top, he'll see the lake and he'll want you to take him rowing. I don't really like to go out in boats that much. Do you like boats? I'm not a big boat person. He'll be the captain and you'll have to row. Then he'll notice the merry-go-round and he'll want to go for a ride. Where is a merry-go-round at a lake? There it is. He'll want you to go for a ride too. You'll choose the horse with the purple mane and he'll get on the whale. The whale will remind him of the science museum, so he'll ask you to take him there. First, he'll find the... What's he gonna do? Dinosaurs! <laughs> then he'll visit the... I wonder what's next. Hall of Apes. <laughs> when the museum closes, you'll be the last to leave. On the way home, you'll pass by the beach. You'll help him gather all of his things. Then he'll want to race you. This is one fun cat. When you get home, he'll empty the sand from his shoes and he might spill some on the floor. That looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Seeing the sand on the floor will remind him of the sprinkles. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him sprinkles, what do you think is going to happen? He'll want a cupcake to go with them. <laughs> Isn't that a funny story? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited I got to read a story to Gracie. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for spending this time with me today, Gracie. I just want you to know what a big fan I am and just how very grateful I am that God gave us you. You are such a blessing. And thank you for being such a sweet and wonderful person. You just make so many people happy, including me. I hope to talk to you soon. I love you very much. Bye-bye.